Vernon Kay has issued a grim health update after his impressive Children in Need fundraising efforts. The broadcaster raised £5 million for the charity in just four days by running 116 miles from Leicester to his hometown of Bolton in an ultramarathon. The 49-year-old broke down in tears as he crossed the finish line, revealing that it was the fans supporting him along the way that kept him going. Chatting to fellow radio host, Zoe Ball, after completing the impressive run, Vernon said, I am absolutely exhausted, physically, mentally, Terry's nothing in the tank. But it's been unbelievable, one of the most painful and joyous experiences I've ever had. He then jokingly asked the crowd, is there anyone here who can replace a knee? The former model went on to confess that he was on on so many painkillers I'd keel over if I had a pint, reports the Mirror. And Vernon had a further, grim health update following the mega run, revealing that both his big toenails were falling off. However, radio presenter said it was all worth it to raise a huge amount of money for charity. He said, we have raised one million pounds a day. Never in a million years did I expect that. Physically I am shot. Both big toenails are coming off, he told the son. He added, my right Achilles is swollen and my right knee is wonky. I never want to look at my sports watch again. Vernon set off on Tuesday morning, crossing the finish line at the Bolton Wanderers Stadium at 10. 30 a.m. on Friday, an hour later than planned. He was greeted by lots of supporters as well as his proud parents Gladys and Norman and other family members. Following his arrival, Vernon became emotional as he met a listener of his radio to show, Barbara, who had written him touching letter about how his show had brought an old lady into the light. His wife Tess Daly was unable to join supporters in Bolton as she is in Blackpool this weekend for a special Strictly Come Dancing show. However, it was revealed that it was the Strictly presenter who had brought Barbara to Bolton to meet Vernon following a Bring Barbara to Bolton hashtag campaign. Tess has had it framed. It's in the kitchen and I walk past it every day. It brings me into the sunshine, I will cherish it forever, Vernon said in regards to Barbara's letter. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. Sharing more stories from listeners, Vernon said, people got me through. A man walking his dog said to me, you said something on the radio when you started. I was in a really dark place and you managed to give my son his dad back. There was a lady who stopped by the side of the road. She said two weeks ago I lost my husband and I've just been told I've got terminal cancer. Then we had a lady who had just lost her baby. She threw her arms around me and was crying in my arms. All these special stories pushed me along. Sign up to our showbiz newsletter.